Today we're getting ready to make some meatloaf. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make meatloaf. Um, I took two of my dogs to the groomers today, and while I wait, I like to cook. So let's see. Um, I will be adjusting the camera now, and uh, I will see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so work with me. It says, let's see, uh, two pounds of meat, lean ground beef, two cups of fresh white or whole wheat bread crumbs, about four bread slices, half a cup of milk, half a cup of mix, minced onions, two eggs, two teaspoons of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So let's get the ingredients together. We've got, uh, how many eggs does it say? Uh, two eggs. Always remember to rinse your bowl. Okay, so you got that. You got that. Remember to wash your hands after you, you um, handle me because uh, I got signature. See? Okay, so now right, we gotta cut this. It calls for one onion. I don't know if I wanna do the whole onion. Be very careful not to cut yourself. Um, if you ever get a chance to take a cooking lesson, I did. And um, I think the only thing I learned was that you have to season every aspect of the meal. So every food that goes into the, the concoction has to be seasoned with salt. That was something I didn't know. I thought you could, you, ju you just could, you know, salt your food like once and that was it. But be careful not to cut yourself. Um, you know, you got to learn how to handle these knives very carefully because you don't want to kill yourself trying to make a meal. Um, I like meatloaf because it's just me and my husband and usually meatloaf allows you to have a day or two of leftovers and you could do sandwiches you could do cold or you could just continue to you know to do the you know what the the meatloaf like you know as an actual meal with like med vegetables and you could do rice or i like to do uh, mashed potatoes okay so it says Half a cup of milk. So we gotta get the milk out. I got this new fridge and it has basically given me a new lease on life. Oh, I need a measuring cup. Okay, let's see. I don't have the measuring cup handy, which means I'm gonna have to improvise. Okay, so here's the I bought two kinds of breadcrumbs. I like to have breadcrumbs on hand. So I got the Signature Select breadcrumbs because, you know, it's all the same. Um, you could go with plain wrap or regular uh, plain wrap or Signature, which is like the store brand, right? Okay, so it's it calls for half a cup of milk. So you got your half a cup of milk, right? Um... And two cups of breadcrumbs. So here is what we're going to do. I have to have a measuring cup somewhere. Oh. 
This is the problem. Let's use this one. I had my garlic sitting in there. Okay, let's put the milk away. And the eggs. I'm gonna put the eggs away. Okay, and now we're gonna do uh dry that out. So two cups of breadcrumbs. Which ones am I using? All oh, original, that's okay. Okay. The breadcrumbs go back here because I gotta put them in the thing. Um Two teaspoons of salt. Teaspoon. Tablespoon. Wait, does it say teaspoons? Yeah, two teaspoons of salt. Okay, so that was our ingredients. Let me wash my hands one last time. Clean up the area. All right. And basically, get in there with your hands, okay? So here we are. It doesn't seem like it's going to work, but... <sighs> you just need everything together. I never thought it was going to be this easy, but usually I'll do like different types of meatloaf. This is just a basic uh, recipe, obviously, from Good Housekeeping. It's an old book, and I'm sure you guys have one lying around your house somewhere. Okay. So these, this is going to be kind of bland because I didn't use the uh, Italian breadcrumbs. I just used the regular. Okay. So now you wash your hands and I'll show you how to put it in the um, in the oven. Okay. So what I need to do now is borrow this here because that's my loaf pan. that was now you dry it and then you got to spray it let me show you how to spray it so this is the spray cooking oil spray it really well all right and then you gotta scoop it in there. So here we go. And that's how good it is. 
and it comes out as a little meat pie. You can have it with mac and cheese. You can have it with mashed potatoes. You can have it with rice. You could even cut it up into little cubes, make some pasta, and voila, you have meat uh, balls in your pasta, right? So leftovers, slice, as soon as it comes out of the oven, you gotta slice it, put it in a container, stick it in the refrigerator for, you know, after your, your dinner meal, of course, but yeah. So this is it, okay? And that was quick, huh? And then, of course, clean your work area up. Good. So now we're going to stick it in the oven. But we got to turn the oven on first because we haven't done that yet. Okay, so let's go over here. I've got stuff in the oven, and I don't know why I keep stuff in the oven. Don't ask me why I keep stuff in the oven. Oh, because I don't have a lot of room. That's why. Okay, so now we are going to turn the oven on. Bake. And let's see how much. 350 for one and a half hours. Okay, so 350 start. Now we wait for it to, um, while we wait for it to uh, heat up, I can tell you goodbye. Thanks for watching. It was really easy, wasn't it? Um, so yeah, that's how you make meatloaf. Remember to put it in the oven for, at 350 for one and a half hours and Dinner's ready in one and a half hours. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and don't forget to comment. Also, um, let me know what kind of recipes you use in your meatloaf. Um, I usually do a cheese, like I cut the 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 food, the meatloaf in half, then I put a layer of cheese there, and then I put the other layer on top, but I didn't do that today because I was excited about making a video. Um, <laughs> right that's what youtube does to you it gets you excited okay so uh please like share and subscribe to my channel i need subscribers okay thanks bye